Now, Mark Waddell uh, sent this one in, and this is a guy that owns Booster Magazine. We've heard from Mark in the past, and he says, uh, what are the best ways to reapproach dormant accounts? A business that was a loyal customer for years, who no longer advertises with you, uh, this is, of course, much more difficult than the first time sale. And he's saying, you know, I've got people that used to give me money, and they don't give me money anymore. How can I get them to give me money again? Well, typically, um, people discontinue a, a service when they think that what they're putting into it is bigger or more valuable to them or harder to come by than what they're getting out of that service. And so the first thing you have to do, Mark, is ask yourself, you know, if they didn't think they were getting enough from Booster Magazine, either they're correct and we weren't giving them a lot and I need to fix that and convince them that I have fixed it. Or we were giving it to them, they just didn't recognize it. Now either way, keep this in mind, Mark, people don't actually change their mind. What appears to be a person changing their mind is simply a person who's making a new decision based on new information. If you give them the same information you've given them in the past, they'll continue to make the same decision they've made in the past. Now, what appears to be a person changing their mind is just really just making a new decision based on new information. So what new information will you give them and how will you bring up the subject? Well, this is the way to bring it up in my experience to walk in and say, hey, Ralph, I want to do an experiment with you. Will you do an experiment with me? And then you propose um, what it is you want Ralph to do to test some theory you have about how you can make this really start working for him. Now remember, how you're going to measure success has to be built upon something identifiable, quantifiable, um, other than people mentioning the ad. Now if a person uses a phrase or asks for a product, that was only in the ad. In other words, we, we invented this idea, this phrase, and the only place it's being communicated is in Booster Magazine. And so if it is an idea that they ask about, or if it's a product or service they want to learn more about, then you get credit for it, even if the customer says, oh, I don't read Booster Magazine, I was told about this from a friend. You know, word of mouth. This is where a lot of people, Mark, don't get the credit they deserve. Booster Magazine created the sale, but it went through an intermediary. One person read it and then told another person about it. That person heard about it word of mouth. And so everybody thinks word of mouth does miraculous things when in reality, the person they heard about you from wasn't a customer of this business. It was a person that, that read about it in, in Booster Magazine. And so identify, how are you gonna identify results? That's what you have to work out with Ralph, your, your uh, prodigal client that you would like to return and give you money again. And so the other thing you've got to do that's kind of weird is you've got to say, here's the experiment I want you to do with me, and here's how we're going to measure whether or not it's working, and here's why I believe it will work. Now the term experiment, here's an experiment I want you to do. That's a powerful word because in a single four-syllable um, word, you have a limited time commitment is communicated a limited risk is communicated, a limited cost is communicated. So the cost, the risk, and the time are all very strictly limited, and every experiment has a positive outcome, you see. The, uh, the promise that's made when you use the word experiment is that we're going to know something when we're done that we don't know right now. Now, obviously, I'm talking to a lot more than just Mark Waddell right now. Many of you, as business owners, need to know how to bring up a subject for a new decision when the verdict is already in and the person you're talking to feels like that that decision's already been made. The decision not to buy from Booster Magazine, Mark. The decision to, you know, discontinue service. We tried it and it didn't work. Great. I agree with that. Now I want you to do an experiment with me. And so you're asking for a new decision based on new information. So when you propose an experiment, what are the terms of the experiment? Now remember, stack the deck, cheat, build the experiment so that it not only works, which means you're going to have to convince them to make a powerful offer. You have to convince them to make a really irresistible offer. And that's what will drive the success of the experiment. It's not your readership, it's not your loyal blah, 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 blah. No, 
It is simply the power of the offer itself.